Wednesday morning and I thought I'd do a bit of a weekend vlog for you guys. Um, I'm having one of those mornings where I just haven't really got too much done. I say morning, it's just gone midday and so far all I've done is lie around in my pyjamas and watch YouTube videos, make a few online orders and um, actually I did publish a blog post so that's one achievement. But I'm going to take the dogs for a walk now because I feel like I just need to get out of the house, get some fresh air and start moving. And then I think today I'm going to have a bit of a, a session with my wardrobe. I'm going to clear out some old bits, do a bit of a charity shop dash. And I'm also going to get my autumn clothes down from the loft because it suddenly feels so autumnal. The blog post I was writing this morning was all about autumn trends and how to incorporate them into your wardrobe now. So it's definitely got me feeling like I want to start planning my autumn wardrobe. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, and also I've really been switching up my skincare routine recently to be a little bit better for those cooler months so I'm gonna give myself a bit of a pamp session later as well but for now I'm just gonna finish off my coffee and then take my little babies for a quick walk from my walk. I say walk, but actually both the dogs decided that they didn't want to walk, they just wanted to be carried. So I ended up carrying them both most of the way, which was quite funny. Um, but yeah, back home now. And before I get started on my wardrobe autumn clear out, I'm gonna have a bit of a pamper session. My skin just feels like it needs a little bit of extra loving. So I'm gonna go through my weekend kind of pampery skincare routine. I do do this in the week as well, just not quite so often. So when my skin is just a little bit tired, a little bit dull like it is today, I like to exfoliate. And for many, many years, I have been using St. Ives. My current favorite is the Even and Bright Pink Lemon and Mandarin Orange Scrub. This has the most amazing fragrance. It smells incredible and it's 100% natural as well. No microbeads, these are all little natural. I think they're apricot particles. I don't know, maybe I might have made that up actually. This just says 100% natural exfoliants to gently polish away little imperfections. I think because the St. Ives scrub that I used to use was probably my first ever exfoliator. It had a picture of an apricot on the front, so I just always thought that the little grains were apricot bits, but maybe the formula has changed since then. Either way, just obsessed with this one. The smell is absolutely heavenly um, and I just really like it for bringing a bit of radiance back into my complexion which in autumn is definitely something that I need. I do have two others from the range so you can really choose what your skincare need is on that particular day or if you've got particularly uh, blackhead prone skin then perhaps this would be a really good one for you. It's their green tea scrub. Charlie actually loves this one. We leave it in the shower um, and it's really good for just scrubbing away and revealing more cleansed skin. This one is then nourishing and smoothing. I think I'll be using this one a lot more as it really does start to get particularly cold, a bit bitter, um, and potentially a bit, you know, sometimes when it's really windy, you just want something really nourishing and soothing on the skin. So this one says soften skin and smooths away dryness. So I think I'll be using this one later in the year. But as I said, at the moment, my favorite is this one. So I'm gonna start by wetting my face and popping it on. So I'd say I do this maybe two or three times a week, um, always one time at the weekends, sometimes on a Sunday evening when Charlie and I have a pamper night, um, but I do, as I said, also have a St. Ives scrub in the shower. So I find that by exfoliating two or three times a week, and it is super gentle, um, but it just keeps your skin looking radiant. You don't really have those off days, um, keeps any blemishes at bay, and especially as it does start to get more autumnal it's just good to i don't find it harsh either just really nice soft natural exfoliants massage it in for a few moments leave a comment down below if st ives was also your first exfoliator i feel like i've just used it since day one of even discovering skincare. I've always loved St. Ives, so let me know down below if you're the same. I'm sure I'm not the only one that just always remembers using them. I'm just going to wet my fingers again to massage it off. I feel like you can almost instantly see how much 
more of a glow my skin has after using that. As you guys know, exfoliating just gets rid of any of the old dead skin that might just be lurking on top, so it just reveals a more radiant complexion, which we all love to have. So now I'm going to add in a little bit of hydration to my skin as we do go into autumn. It's even more important to keep the skin hydrated. I have been using the Fortifying and Plumping Daily Booster from Vichy. This, what I really like about it is that it's an additional step to a skincare routine, so you don't have to take anything out. It's like a pre-serum, um, sinks in really, really quickly, and it's just an additional step to really add a bit more hydration to the skin. So I really like applying this in the mornings. And then the serum that I have been using for nearly a year now, this is a Darfan Lumiere Essentielle, nearly out of my second um, tube of this, but I will go in and buy a third because I love it that much. All of these products so far just are really giving my skin the best chance to have a lovely glow. And then this morning I'm actually going to try something new. This is a very luxurious moisturiser. It's the Galan Orchidee Imperial and it comes in this almost like spaceship kind of pot. It smells absolutely heavenly. Oh my goodness. And it's actually called a face treatment as opposed to a moisturiser because it's got so many skin healing and nourishing benefits. So give this a whirl, I've heard good things. I think as we move from summer to autumn, it is always worth switching up your moisturizer to something a little bit more luxurious, especially if you were using a gel in the summer, which I sometimes did. Um, it's definitely worth just looking at something a little bit more hydrating, a little bit more creamy, because that really does help to keep the skin glowing in the colder months. And to finish off, a little bit of lip balm. This is my bi- little bit bi. This is my Bi Terry Balmed Rose, which I just adore. I feel like I've been using this every day for so long, and yet I still have loads left of this. So there we go, that is my current skincare routine. Very quick morning routine, but also very pampering, and it's going to hopefully help me keep the glow throughout the autumn months. My skin looks, smells, and feels pretty good right now. So I'm going to head to the bedroom, I'm going to get a few carry bags, and start sorting out my clothes. Let's do this! Okay, so I'm in my dressing room. Um, I don't know if you guys may have seen on my Instagram stories, but last weekend I just had one of those like super productive weekends where I pulled out a load of stuff from my current season wardrobe, which is all pretty much stuff in here, um, and I gave loads of stuff to charity shops. So while my current like stuff that I bought recently is all pretty up to date, the stuff that I'm going to be sorting through now is my last year's autumn and winter stuff. So I have a bit of a system where, because I get, I get asked this a lot because obviously I do a lot of shopping, I have a lot of hauls, everybody always says like how do you store everything, or well, what I do is I put loads of stuff in suitcases like this one up in the loft. Um, so as soon as I feel like it's slightly gone past the season and I don't know if I want to sell it or if I want to keep it, I just put it in suitcases in the loft, which means that at the start of every season, I then have to look through the last year's version of that season, if that makes sense, um, to see what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to sell. And that works really well because it means that I don't have to have it all um, just filling up space in my wardrobe and also when it comes to selling it, like for example at the moment it's going to be selling things like gilets and coats, now is the time of year that people are actually looking to buy that kind of stuff, so it means that I can sell it at a time where it's actually going to be in demand, which maybe means I can make a little bit more money from it and just means that I'm helping people out hopefully a little bit more than just filling the shops full of um, summer clothes which no one's really buying. So with that in mind, this is all pretty much last season stuff. I think I've just kind of decided that I am going to sell a lot of it on Depop. I've tried Depop before but I've not really had too much success with it, um, but I'm going to give it a go this time. I'll probably leave stuff up there for a week or so and see how it sells, so I will leave a link to a Depop shop if I have in fact set one up um, down below. And most of this, I would say, looking at it, I think 90-99% of this stuff is things that I've 100% bought for myself, um, not gifting from brands, not bought with any gift vouchers or anything, but if on the occasion there is something on my Depop which has been bought with a voucher, or even gifted, I will put a little symbol in the in the um, title and you'll know that all of those profits are going to charity, just to be totally transparent on there. Um, but yeah, 
let's have a little look. So the first thing I saw was this gilet. It's a Hollister gilet and um, I absolutely love gilets. I wear them a lot but I don't feel like this is terribly my style. I think I wore this maybe once or twice last winter and it certainly has not got any markings on it. I think I actually got it from MacArthur Glen. Uh, super, super cosy but I don't think I'll wear it this year so I'm going to put that straight away in the Depop pile. I also have this really big coat which I think is a Jules coat or is it um, Abercrombie? Let's have a look. Oh, it's Lipsy, that's random. Did not remember getting this, but I actually have quite a lot of this style of like puffer jacket. So again, that's gonna go on Depop. This is also gonna cost me quite a lot of money to post this stuff, isn't it? We will see. And then this looks to be another fluffy kind of Parker coat, a very, quite nice fitting one by the looks of it. I think this one might be Topshop, yeah. But again, I just don't really feel like this coat is very much my style, so that as well is going to go in Depop. And then I think this is actually my mum's. This is a crew clothing jacket. It's like one of these waxy jackets, so really good for like dog walking. Um, I better check that that's not mum's before I sell it. This bag was labelled as Josie Autumn Keep. So obviously at the end of last autumn I decided that this autumn I would want to keep this stuff. But obviously your tastes change, your styles change. So I'm going to go through it again and I think I'll probably surprise myself with how much I actually do want to move on. Um, first of all this gilet. I don't really feel like this kind of style is going to come back into fashion too much again this year. This is Topshop. By the way everything is like size 6. Or eight. Um, I don't know, I do quite like it. Maybe I'll hold on to it for a little bit longer. Yeah, I think I will actually. And then I've got loads of this style of thing, so I just love cosy layers like this. But again, I have got newer versions of this, and I'm sure I will buy a whole lot more, so I'm going to put that one probably not on Depop because it's only Zara, I might just give that one straight to charity. This is a brand new Pimkey top, in fact I think I ordered this by accident on ASOS. Um, I think I'll put that on Depop. It's black. I don't really wear much black. Black suede skirts. This one is from Miss Selfridge. I think I'll list that on Depop because suede skirts are really popular. And then this, I remember wearing this a lot. This is River Island, I think, is a lovely gilet. Again, I wore this a lot last year, but I think it's a bit dark for my style now, so that's going to go on Depop as well. Gosh, we're doing well with this clear out. A scarf, which again, I loved last year. Not so mad about it this year. I think it's from Accessorize. New look, Depop. So next up, we have a Reese cashmere v-neck jumper. This is such beautiful quality. I just don't wear v-necks. I feel like they make me look like a schoolgirl. So that one again is going to go on Depop. These retail for over £100. I'll probably list this on Depop for like £25. So going to be a bargain. Then we have a little Reese skirt. I remember getting this one. I actually used to work at Reese. I used to wear this so much, but it's in perfect condition. It's a size 4. I'm a size 6 slash 8. No, I'd say I'm a size 6, um, and this fits perfectly, but again, we're going to give that go on Depop. A silk shirt, which really needs ironing. This is a Reese size 4. It's navy, so I probably won't wear it. Depop. And ditto the exact same shirt or blouse, I think, but in black. This will be a really nice uniform if you have to wear, like, black all over for your uniform. It has got this lace panel down the middle. It's very, very pretty, but I don't wear black, so there's no point in holding on to that. So I can go on Depop. Okay, I remember these jumpers. I did wear these a lot. They're probably a little bit bobbly. Need a once over with the old bobble off. But I guess if I list it as being in not in perfect condition and someone just wants to get their hands on a really nice quality jumper, then they'll be pleased with that. So I'll put that on Depop. Again, another really cosy cable knit, Reese size extra small, it has got quite a lot of bubbles on it. Um, it is a classic, but again, I just feel like I've got so many more jumpers that I just won't wear it. So that will go on Depop. Ah, oh, this one I wore so much last winter, you might remember this in my London Fashion Week video. This is a Jaeger jumper in the most beautiful pink colour, absolutely adore this, and I will definitely wear this more this year. So finally... We have something that I'm going to put in the keep pile. And this is another yoga jumper, actually. This one is more of a cape. It does kind of need ironing every time you wear it, which does get a bit annoying. But I think this is so beautiful when it's on. It's like 
a wrap style jumper. I just think it looks so elegant and I cannot wait to wear that again. And then we have my Club Monaco jumper. And this is the one that really started my love affair with ruffled sleeves. You might remember seeing this in vlogs and blog posts last year. Definitely gonna keep that one. So next up, this is something that I've kind of kept for many years and not worn, but it's a really special piece for me. It's a Burberry jacket that I got on my 16th birthday and it's just, you know, it was my first ever designer piece. So I can't bring myself to get rid of it. So I'm going to keep that one, even though I may not wear it because it's just, it's quite like a puffy style. It's like, I don't know, a bit billowy for a jacket, if that makes sense, but can't bring myself to get rid of that. Some tights, brand new tights from Bowdoin, black and grey, definitely come in handy. This is a pair, I think, of like pyjama bottoms, like super cosy fleecy pyjama bottoms from Bedroom Athletics. I don't think I will wear these again, even though they are the coziest things in the world, but I don't think they would fetch very much to warrant my postage etc on Depop so they're gonna go in the charity shop pile. Cozy at home like jumper dress again I think from Bedroom Athletics that can go to the charity shop. Topshop handbag I wore this again a lot last year don't think I'll wear it this year because I do have so many bags so that's gonna go on Depop. And then the rest of the suitcase is pretty much just filled with tights because you can never have too many tights in autumn so I'm just gonna leave them there. I think to be honest I am going to put um, the jumpers, like the Jaeger and the Club Monaco jumpers, back in the suitcase, back in the loft, because I don't feel like we're quite ready for thick jumpers yet, and it is quite easy for me to get them down. So I'm going to put all of the keep pile back in the suitcase, and then we're going to have a rummage through my existing wardrobe, just to see if there's any more things that I can pluck out to um, sell or send to charity. <laughs> Okay, so I'm now gonna start the process of photographing everything and then I'm gonna have a cup of tea and start listing everything on Depop. <laughs> Okay, so all the photographing is done. I'm not gonna lie, that took quite a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, so I'm gonna go downstairs, I'm gonna make myself a nice cup of tea. I might put a jump on actually, it's getting chilly already. Um, and I'm gonna start listing everything. I've got everything just kind of like hidden away behind the door here. Um, and hopefully some stuff will sell. If it hasn't sold by the end of this week, I think I will just I don't know, take it to a charity shop, but there's such high value bits, I really don't know. Fingers crossed, bits and bobs sell. Um, so yeah, I have to say, my skin is looking pretty glowy, very, very happy with my skin. It feels so comfortable as well, which is just what you need when you're having a day at home. Um, but yeah, it does feel like it'd be a good base for makeup as well. I find that when your skin is polished, everything that you put on top just really works its best. So yes, feeling good. Uh, yeah, let's go downstairs and start listing. While I'm down here, let me show you. <laughs> Dickens, did I disturb you? Somebody was looking very peaceful on the sofa. Stretching boy, ooh. I'm excited to see how Dickens reacts to autumn, of course. He was a spring baby, so he's not experienced autumn before, have you, monkey? No, um, I was going to show you some beautiful flowers that I was very, very kindly sent the other day. How stunning are these? I think they're the most beautiful flowers I have ever been sent. They were sent by the lovely girls from Guerlain, so feeling very, very grateful for those. And um, then let me just flip the camera around. Look at that face. Look at that face. Are you a terror? Are you a terror? Oh, it's been a hard day. It's been a hard day for my monkey. Um, yeah, I picked up a couple of new bits and bobs from Anthropology the other day. I got these lovely stone um, coasters. Can't remember the name of the crystal. I think it's like Araldite or something along those lines. So I've got those. And then I also could not resist this notebook. So I go through notebooks like there's no tomorrow, always making to-do lists. And this is like a folio, so it's leather. Um, and then inside, you can like make your to-do lists and then I can exchange this when it gets full. And it came with its own little rose gold pen, so that was my little anthropology haul. Good 
morning, it's Sunday and I'm gonna go to the gym first thing this morning, try and blow away the cobwebs. Yesterday felt like a bit of a lazy day um, and as you probably saw, we had our weekly honest burger last night. Um, so I've definitely got some calories to burn. I've just been repacking my gym shower bag. So this is the bag that I take in the shower with me. Our hot water at home is just terrible, it never really works. Um, so I prefer to shower at the gym when I can. So. I'm gonna have a bit of a fake tan session today. So I've put in my Vita Liberata Super Fine Skin Polish. This is probably the grainiest exfoliator that I have, so it really helps to just buff away everything on the body ready for a good fake tan. And I haven't given my hair a deep condition mask for a while, so this is the Kerastars Mask Densité. I'm gonna leave that on for like five minutes while I exfoliate the body. I bought the St. Ives Oatmeal Scrub. This is the nourishing and smoothing one. So I thought that'd be a nice one after the gym and to keep the face buffed, ready for tanning. And then I've got L'Oreal uh, Professional Cera Flash. This is a purple shampoo, so it helps to neutralize any orange tones in blonde hair. And then I've also packed my fake tan um, and just hair bits and bobs to really pamper after the gym. And then I'm gonna go meet Vicky for a coffee. So a productive start to the day. <laughs> Back home from the gym now, had a really good session, although it was so busy in there. Sunday mornings is just ridiculous in the gym, um, but I still managed to do the 20 minutes hit on the treadmill. I find that that's the best for my body type, especially when I'm trying to burn off from a naughty day. Uh, I just do like 30 minutes level 17 um, with an incline and then about a minute recovery do that over and over again about 10 times and then by the end of it I'm absolutely knackered and then I did a little bit on the rowing machine I did the leg weights abductor is that what they're called um and I used the Roman chair to do some abs so a good session all over um then I used a fake tan in, in the changing rooms which I was getting some weird looks not gonna lie but yeah a little bit more bronze now and then I went and met Vicky, we had a really nice coffee, I had avocado on toast at Gales, so really good start to the day, and it's a beautiful, beautiful day today, so I'm determined to be really productive, already stripped the bed and got that in the washing machine, and sorted out the rest of the washing, ready to go in. I think I'm going to cleanse my makeup brushes and beauty blenders in a second because that's what I tend to do on a Sunday. But first I'm going to run down to Doddle, see if there's any blog mail because I do want to film a haul later. It's not often that the sky is this blue and when it is I need to make the most of it and get filming. So that's what I'm going to do this afternoon. Charlie's just going to be watching football all day so it means I get a day to do whatever I please. <sighs> Okie dokie. So I got back from Doddle, thought I would very quickly show you some of the bits and bobs that I have got. First of all, I have a big ASOS order, but I think I'm actually going to film a few haul videos for next week, so I'm going to save that one. Um, let me know if you'd like to see another haul week, I know it's that kind of weird in-between season at the moment where we don't really want to start um, buying our autumn stuff yet, but especially on days like today, like it must be 24 degrees out there, um, but it feels kind of silly spending money on summer stuff, so if you are also not sure what you're buying at the moment and you'd like a haul week, then let me know. Um, but blogger mail wise, I always love the packaging, it's so pretty. Let's have a look what's in this nice pink one. I can see some sweeties. Got a few colourful meringues from Meringue Girls and, oh it's from Formula 1006, I'm not sure how you officially say that. This is an energising peel mask, that sounds lovely. Um, and be ready, be very ready daily foaming cleanser. I'm not usually a fan of foaming cleansers because um, I find them quite harsh, but this one sounds like it's got some really nice ingredients. Coconut milk soothes and nourishes the skin. So maybe this can be the one that changes my opinion. So thank you very much to those lovely folks. Looks like they have a whole new range on um, berries, very licious skincare. <laughs> need to sit on something. My legs after the gym are feeling a little bit achy. I have quite a heavy silver package here. Let's see what is inside. <gasps> so this is from Darfan, whose skincare I absolutely adore. They have the most incredible essential oils. Um, oh wow. 
five essential oil secrets. So this has got lots of information on how to use different oils. Um, ooh, oh my goodness, they have sent the full range of their gorgeous aromatic oils. I absolutely love using these. I put them in my hands and like breathe in the fragrance um, before bed. This helps to chill you out and then press it onto the skin. So, so lovely. So they've got the Tangerine Aromatic Care, Rose, Chamomile, Nayuli and Orange Blossom. I don't think I've tried Nayuli and I don't think I've ever owned the rose one before so very very lucky to have received these from Darfan. It says the rose is for hydrating, tangerine for energizing, chamomile for smoothing, neoli for purifying and orange, blah, 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 and orange blossom for brightening. So an oil for every skincare need. Thank you very much Darfan. Oh I know what this one is. This is from and this is so 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 generous a brand called By Killian who do the most incredible luxurious fragrances. Charlie and I went in there a couple of days ago to discover their new fragrances. Oh my gosh, they all come in these beautiful, like you just would never want to get rid of the packaging. Obviously it's this gorgeous gold box and this is specifically for their new gold collection. So I've got the fragrance Woman in Gold which is just so, so gorgeous. These are incredibly luxurious fragrances, oh my gosh. But the kind of fragrances that, first of all, no one else has them, so they're so exclusive that you're not going to walk down the street and someone else smell the same as you. And they're so powerful that you always get asked what you're wearing, which I absolutely love. This one is mm, definitely going to be one of my favourite winter fragrances. And then this one looks like it's come from Elemis, so let's see what lovely goodies we have in here. Elemis bits always come so beautifully presented in these little um, like gift boxes which I never want to chuck out but I just can't keep a hold of all this packaging, it's crazy. Ooh, something pink. Elemis, oh my god, this is crazy. I literally used the secret to get this. This morning I realised I'd almost finished my marine cream, my pro collagen marine cream. I've got the SPF 31 which is also the peel um, but I feel for winter I just want to have more of the original. And I almost bought it and then I thought, no, I'm going to use the secret and I'm just going to believe that I will get another one somehow. And look, it's it's here. The 25, celebrating 25 years of the Pink Ribbon Breast Cancer Awareness Limited Edition Pro Collagen Marine Cream. I cannot believe that. That was only this morning that I was thinking I needed to get a new one and here it is. So this must be the one that they're doing for the Breast Cancer Awareness Month in this beautiful pink packaging. <gasps> oh my god! It's ginormous. <gasps> this is literally a lifetime supply of marine cream. It's so huge. Look at that. It must be three times the size of the normal one with the breast cancer stamp up at the top there. That was amazing. If you guys haven't tried the marine cream, it is like a international bestseller for good reason because it's absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh. I think this is just like the standard marine cream, but in this amazing huge pink for breast cancer awareness. Um, tub is the only way to describe it. That's going to look so cute on my dressing table. So if you haven't tried it yet and you need a good excuse to, then this is a limited edition for breast cancer awareness. So a really good excuse to get your hands on one. That's amazing. Elemis is proud to be partnering with Breast Cancer Care for the 25th anniversary of the Pink Ribbon to celebrate their donating £25,000 or $30,000 to help bre breast cancer care continue their excellent work supporting women living with and beyond breast cancer. That is amazing. Well done, Elemis. Right, so I'm going to tidy this um, bomb site up and then I'm going to quickly make myself some lunch, just a little snack or something, and I think the lighting is pretty good right now, so I'm going to film my ASOS haul, and I did do a bit of Zara shopping this week as well, so I might do a pre-autumn Zara haul as well, so I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Okay, I've put you up on a little tripod now so that I can go hands-free. Um, I'm going to get ready to film my video. So I'm going to curl my hair and I was very kindly sent a couple of days ago the new steam pod. So L'Oreal steam pod, um, I went through, I probably used this for like a year non-stop and absolutely loved the curls it gave my hair. Obviously they curl with steam as well as having these like straightening bars, uh, what are they called? Plates I guess. So you kind of get the best of both but it's really big, it took me a long time before I could curl with it but um, now I just find it really easy if you're good at curling your hair with straighteners and it's pretty much no real difference. So I thought I'd give it a go for you. This one is no different to the normal one, it's just got this really cool pattern on it. It's like a Japanese 
garden style, which is really pretty. So I'm just gonna start by brushing my hair. And the steam pod has little arrows on it, so these arrows are going down so you know which way to curl your hair or which way to straighten it, which is just helpful because otherwise it goes a little bit weird. And it takes a little bit longer to heat up than normal straighteners, but when this starts steaming, which by the sounds of it, it's about to, I have this little pod, I don't know if you can see it, um, which has little suction pads on it, that's where the water is. And then, yeah, there we go, can you hear it? It's just starting to steam now. So I just take section by section and then curl it in the same way as you would with straighteners pretty much. If I put you there you might be able to do it better what I'm doing. So I'm not the most skilled person at curling my hair, so I'm sure there's tutorials online on how to do this a bit better, but I just take a section of hair, clamp it in, and then twist it. Hopefully, if you curl it round, nice little girl. Okay, so now that I've run curls all the way through my hair, I'm just gonna leave it to cool down because that's when the hair kind of sets um, and then I'll rough it up a little bit after it's all nice and cool. Okay, so I'm in the middle of doing the haul video and I just have to show you what a bomb sight this room is. There is stuff everywhere because I've got the stuff that I'm yet to try on, the stuff that I have tried on and I'm keeping, the stuff that I've tried on and that I'm not keeping, just piles of clothes everywhere. This room was messy to start with but now it's just an absolute bomb sight. Um, on the other hand, this is the cutest thing in the hall so far. It's like a little dressing gown with um, faux fur sleeves and it's super cozy from ASOS. I will leave a link to it down below. Um, but yeah, it's going well. I think I've probably got another 15 minutes of trying on clips to film and then I'm gonna reward myself with a cup of tea and what sweets have I got in the house? Mm. Oh, maybe those meringues from earlier. So I finally have a tidy, or as tidy as it's gonna get, room. Um, I can see the floor again, which is definitely a bonus. I just unboxed a little bit of vlogger mail on Instagram stories, and then Dexter started shredding all the packaging, um, so that was fun. And then I did a little Instagram live, which was nice to chat to everybody and answer a few questions. I think I'm gonna do a couple of Instagram stories now about um, Olympus lenses, because I always get so many questions about what lenses I use on my pen. Um, I use the 75mm for like really high depth of field outfit photos if you want a major blurry background. But that's quite an expensive one, but I do have a 25% discount code at the moment, which I'll leave linked down below, so a really good time to get it. Uh, or the 45mm lens is good for like, if you're a blogger and you don't want to spend too much money, I think it's 148 so with my discount code that would be like £110. So um, yeah, I'm going to do some Instagram stories about that. My discount code works on the EPL8 camera and all the lenses, so pretty good time to get it if you're thinking about it. And it's only valid until the 1st of September, so don't hang around. But yes, I'm gonna do that, and then um, I've just managed to persuade Charlie that we should have mac and cheese with our steak tonight on the barbecue. So after my Instagram stories, I'm gonna go and make that, and then just have a very chilled Sunday evening. Dinner is all ready. I've got my steak. Oh, I've got an audience member. Steak, mac and cheese, carrot and broccoli, and spinach. And Charlie has the same. Um, and I've just been editing this vlog, and it's already rather long. So without further ado, I'm going to round it up here. Thank you guys for watching. If you got to the end, then somehow mention mac and cheese in your comments so that I know who you wonderful people are that actually watch all the way to the end of the videos. 
and yeah that's all from me i hope you enjoyed spending the weekend with me and my hounds and i'll see you in the next one bye